for him in time for his football practice, but I told him, Snoop, chill, man. It's going to be all right. Hopefully, he's going to be impressed. I mean, it's looking a million times better than it did when it rolled in here. So we'll have it as together as we can, show him what we're doing, show him the shop, try to get him as a customer, and, you know, a future, a whole bunch of future builds with him. Today's a big day. Snoop's our first time client and I've been chasing him for years. Not only that, he's an artist. So he's definitely gonna check out this mobile studio and see if it's got everything he wanted. So I hope we nailed it. What's up, babe? Yeah. Here it is for you, baby, with a head. Oh, no, no. I'm watching what's the Oh, yeah, I didn't pull it. On the road studio. Already? What'd you think? Is I? It's looking right. Mm, mm, mm. You got 5.1 surrounding Mobile here, too. Mobile studio, dog! Mackie's newest software, you got traction. I'm just tripping off how y'all got it done so quick, so fast. Look the doggy style logos up front for you, man. I love that shag. You like that, huh? That's sick. That's a West Coast. Those seats, too, are crazy. Yeah, let me try that seat out right there. That's the king, oh, well, chip. That's you. <laughs> that's all you. <laughs> that's Nobody the king, chip. Studio on the go. West Coast Customs, what do you know? I think the first thing that caught my eye probably was the shag carpet. And then, you know, the big screen TV, and then the studio, and then the seats, and, you know, just the whole vibe of it all. You know, that I can relax and make music while I'm on the road. That's the key. Y'all can come see me cooking in the kitchen. When I cook up something right in this kitchen right here, on the road, on the wheel, cooking on the road with Snoop Dogg. Courtesy of West Coast Custom. I can roll like a superstar now. Before I was rolling like the milkman or the ice cream man. You know, that just ain't my style, so I had to step it up a bit now. I look real prestigious and fly. I'm pleased, satisfied. All right, Doc. Good looking. I know you got to go do your thing. Go get them kids now. Yeah, yeah, I, kids. I got something to put them in after the game. Go get mine. Satisfied. Another satisfied customer. Right now, I have the guys in there getting the paint ready for the Asante Benz. It's going to look sick. Now they gotta tape it off, because it's time for the two-tone. What's wrong, man? That's how you clear a room. Get your ass out the office. What about a windshield? Can I get one of those today? The same car or what? Yeah, yeah, just the S550. So Corey right now is looking for the windows for the Mercedes because some people here that aren't here anymore didn't do their job in order the parts that were necessary. Because I'm doing the reveal on this car tomorrow for uh, one of the owners of Asante. Uh -huh. How do we have no windshield when a car is going to be done tomorrow? Right. I'll call you right back. All right, Thank you, John. Right. Bye. Another damn paradise. Let's go ahead and take this over here. Right? Ed from Mercedes just showed up with the glass. Got it here as soon as possible. Got it for the guys now. Get this reveal done. Be on our way. We got glass. <laughs> I've only been here about a month. I just had to show Ryan I can get it done and, you know, step up to the plate and uh, show him that, you know, not put anybody down, but uh, I'm a little bit better than some people around here. Moscow, do something with this so it doesn't get up, please. What? Look at the way they set this thing up. Idiot. I mean, we've been down this road like so many times with him. We've talked to him about coming in on Saturdays. He won't come in on Saturday. Talked to him about staying late when we need him. He won't stay late. I mean, I don't think there's anything else we can do. And honestly, I, I, I feel Sam's been fixing a lot of that dude's problems anyway. Oh, big time. So Chad's been complaining about Armando a lot, saying he's not pulling his weight. We're way too far behind on this build to have anybody slacking. For sure today. It's got to be Jose and, Jose and Armando. But have, uh, Armando ain't, ain't putting in the time. He ain't staying late. He's not a team player at all. Chad asked him to come in on Saturday. He didn't show I mean, just, he don't give a okay. So Chad said he don't even want him here today. Chad. Yeah, we talked. We already talked. We're getting rid of Armando right now, OK? Yeah. OK. Yeah, we're good. All right. Yeah. 
Hey, Armando. Classy, though. The, 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 what's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not working. So the main reason I let go of Mondo because he wasn't putting in overtime. He, well, not even overtime. He wasn't putting in the time. And on top of that, when he was putting in the time, he wasn't putting in good work at all. The reason that I couldn't stay late because, you know, I just have a family. I know, I know you just had the family, just the baby recently, but. I was, you know, the first days. I mean, yeah, yeah, you was here now late. I'm, oh, and I won't get, you know, compensated, right? This is what's gonna take care of the home. This is what take care of homework. Yeah, yeah. Right. This is what take care of home. Basically, when people see me coming towards them in the shop, they know it's either one of two things. Either they're gonna get fired or they're gonna get their ass handed to them verbally and go back to work. And unfortunately for him, you know, it was the latter. Thank you very much. So we're late in the Mercedes build. We have numerous problems that we're facing. I think maybe the guys here didn't take this build as serious as the minor details, which aren't minor. They, they broke the windshield and destroyed the rear rubber on a $100,000 car. Bear should be blamed because this is his project. He should be project managing in his job. I'm not the project manager. I'm the, just the guy that's going to get blamed for everything. Mercedes build, and I just find out we got more issues with the department heads. Yeah, he, he don't help. He don't help for me. That's why I put up with that bull because he he might offer you help and you say, yeah, go ahead. Every time I ask you, like, oh, I got this, I got you, this, I got homie, this. You not even do your own. Homie, I don't you? even do my own. How come all of our on time then? What's the problem? So again, Ish doesn't build interior panels out of fiberglass very well at all, and needs help, but doesn't know how to ask Chad for help. And Chad doesn't know how to say, oh, cool, you need help, let me just help you, instead of, see, I told you you're going to need my help, because your sucks. Well, it's not looking better, because your sucks like lately, dude. That's not what this is about, Chad. That's not what it's about. No, it's not, because you guys both have ego problems against each other. It needs to stop. It needs to stop. If you need help, you need to say, I need help. I try to work out their problems so I can keep these guys, because I think these guys are really talented. They just have issues with communication here. I mean, the communication is one of the biggest problems here. You guys both need to grow the up, stop and just work together. Hey, you're so full of dude. You are full of okay. You are full of Yeah. I hope okay. Chad and them can go talk and get this figured out. But if it doesn't, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and hope the car's ready by tomorrow. In the trunk, there's supposed to be a shoe display. Nobody ever told me anything about that. Four hours from when Sergio is going to show up to pick up his Mercedes. Nothing was talked to Chad about building a trunk to display shoes. This is like the center this of attention. It's so big, like it'd be better if we're doing one like that, like maybe have it angled like that with a little stand. Problem number two. Ishmael's my biggest concern right now. Where is my interior department? I have to fix somebody else's mistakes. I'm not going out there start another fight today. That yesterday was Ryan kind of came to me with a last minute request that we needed to build a shoe display in the trunk of Sergio's car. So I happened to have one that we did before out of plexiglass that Ryan thought this would work out really well. So we'll use this and then I'm going to make two that are similar like it to flank it on either side. We'll do it out of brushed aluminum and black plexiglass. So I had to cut all new templates. After I get all these cut out and glued together, polished up, I'm going to make stands for them. So they kind of float above the ground and we can set some shoes on there and hopefully it won't look like something we threw together at the last minute. I still have something else. I still have to fix the, the door panel. Under pressure. And I can believe that I have thousands of dollars in tools and I can find a bit. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a, a set of these cables from any of the other cars, would you? Really no big deal. That's up. That's up. That's down. Okay, Everything down. else is. Hey, guys. Surge is up there right now. Surge is here. Don't let him in. 
<laughs> We're trying not to let him in. He's outside the gate right now. Brian's yeah. trying to keep him, you know. I was just yelling at the guys right now saying, you have 29 minutes so Sergio's going to get here. No nope. bull****. So we're going to hang out for 29 minutes. Yeah, I'll just hang out <laughs> here with you. Where's Scott? Scott! Sergio and Carlos just arrived, and the Mercedes is far from being done. So Alex and I have to keep them entertained while the guys in the back are finishing the job. If Carlos and Sergio leave, we're screwed. We just got to get this done. Let's go. Grab a no, it looks dope, though. Really? It really, really, really looks good. I like your shirt today, Sergio. Look nice. <laughs> look different. How many minutes? Seven. Seven? Freaking out. I'm having chest pain. Six minutes. What's up, Alex? <laughs> well, if you can look at the light behind my back, as you can see, it's dark outside. It's approximately two hours past our deadline. Sergio has been toured around the shop 30 different times. Ryan's buying time with the guys next door right now. Uh, we're just putting on this final molding. <laughs> as long as the pair doesn't take the paint off of it. In the custom car world, nothing works as planned. That's why it's custom. Everything's custom. There's no book. There's no school. There's no nothing to do to learn how to do this. We just got to do it. Let's go show Sergio's car. Oh, man. <laughs> uh -huh. Flawless. That's beautiful. That's hot. It's Look definitely that. one of the nicest cars we've built. Holy huh? Beautiful. I think Sergio's favorite part of the car was probably the lines, the way that the roof ended up lining up towards the back window and all that. I mean, he was definitely one of those customers that he is a designer. He has an eye for, you know, style, and, and he loves the roof. I think the roof is probably the best part on it. This is ridiculous. Uh, Carlos is definitely his favorite part is the interior. I mean, he's a, he's a fashion designer. He makes all their clothes, all their shoes, everything like that. So his eyes went directly into the interior, and he thinks he did his job. Hold on, I got to show you um, your little promotion piece of it. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and with the projects that I build at my shop are a lot different than a lot of these other shops where you can buy the part or bolt the part on or do what you need to do. We got to actually build half of the parts that we put on these cars. So being two hours late on a build this extreme, I don't think isn't that, it's not that bad. Look at any other shop out there. It's probably going to be two weeks, two months. Two years, maybe. Cool. Get it wrapped up, huh? Thank you, sir. Oh, but that's hot. Hi, Sergio. Sorry. You know, sometimes I ask myself, why the f do I do this? You know, it's like the whole headache situation, probably losing hair.